Hello everyone, welcome to Mango Monkey Learns Money. In today's video, we will try to explore whether there is a benefit for you to have two jobs instead of having one job earning the same income. Specifically, we will focus on the treatment of the tax withholding in Australia. So if you have been employed, you would know that every time you get paid, your employer actually withhold a certain amount of tax, so you don't actually get the full pay. Now in my channel, I have a recipe for you guys. For you to be a millionaire within 20 years, Australian millionaire, so that's 1 million Australian dollars, you only need to earn a salary of $60,000 and by the time you have waited 20 years, you will suddenly have 1 million Australian dollars. This assumes that you are very financially disciplined and you live like a cheapskate. You gotta save $600 a week, which means you have to live on around $300 a week, including your rent if you pay rent and your groceries and living expenses and shopping. And to be able to earn $60,000 before tax, you have to earn a little bit above minimum wage. So your hourly rate can be at the minimum wage level, so that is around $19 per hour, 19 point something. But if your hourly rate is at the minimum wage, you have to work a bit more than a full-time job. So maybe do a bit of overtime. So your alternatives are to actually do overtime. Maybe instead of working eight hours a day, you have to work maybe 12 hours a day. Or you have two jobs. So one job is full-time, the other job is part-time. Or you can also do side hustle. So one job is full-time, the other job is not a job, it's a side hustle. So let's explore the first two alternatives. So number one is you work overtime earning minimum wage but you work 12 hours a day and the alternative is you have two jobs also earning minimum wage from each job one job is full-time the other job is part-time so this year if you earn sixty thousand dollars from one job after the employer withholds the withholding tax you will have more or less around 939 dollars per week being transferred into your bank account if you work a job that's giving you $40,000, then after the withholding tax is taken out, you have around $675 transferred into your bank account each week. Now for your second job that's earning you $20,000 a year, when you fill in that form, the tax declaration form, you shouldn't tick the box that allows you to claim the tax-free threshold. Because as you know, in Australia, the tax system is a marginal tax rate. The first $18,000 of your income is actually tax-free. But because this is your second job, you already have $18,000 from your main job. So you shouldn't claim this tax-free threshold when you tell your employer how much they need to withhold for you. So because you're not claiming the tax-free threshold, your net after-tax income for that week is going to be around $299 per week. So if you add up these two figures, the $40,000 job and the $20,000 job, you get around $974 per week being transferred into your bank account each week. So to recap, if you work one job and earn $60,000 a week, every week your bank account balance will increase by $939. But if you work two jobs, the first job earns you $40,000, the second job earns you $20,000, your bank account balance will increase by $974, and that is around $35 per week more. So what can you do with the $35 a week extra money? Well, you have the ability to invest this money. You cannot invest this indefinitely because at the end of the year, when you do your tax return, you will find that you actually need to pay the money back to the government because your tax was not withheld correctly for the second job. The reason is even though you are not claiming the tax-free threshold, 
Your second employer doesn't really know how much money you are earning from your first employer. So when they withhold the tax, the way it works is that they just charge you a bit of tax on your first $18,000 income. But they charge you the tax at the lowest marginal tax rate. But because you are already earning $40,000 from your main job, your starting tax rate for the second job really shouldn't be the lowest marginal tax rate. It should be the second lowest marginal tax rate. So at the end of the year, you have to sell your investment and pay the money to the tax office. But there will be a period of one year where you get to keep this money and invest it and earn return on the investment. So if you go to this government website, I like to use the government website because everybody trusts the government. So if you put in $35 a week and you let it sit in the investment account for one year because at the end of the year, you have to, you have to sell the investment and give the money to the tax office. Let's assume that your investment return is 4% per annum. Your investment income in that year should be around $34. Now this $34 is the extra income that you get on your investment. So you actually get to keep the $34. So the way it works is that on this screen, you have to sell the $1,820 and pay that to the tax office, but you get to keep the $34 investment income. So effectively, this means on a yearly basis, you get to invest around $34 extra. Now, if you invest $34 per year for the next 20 years, this is going to get you around $1,000 in 20 years. So basically, if you follow this strategy, let's say you save $600 a week for the next 20 years, you will have around $1 million after 20 years, right? Remember that formula? But if you work two jobs, then you have $1,000 extra on top of the $1 million. So you have one million and one thousand dollars. Is that material? Maybe not really. Anyway, if you're a cheapskate, then you want to get the maximum benefit for yourself, right? So even though it's not material, you probably still want to do it anyway. What do you think guys? Did you enjoy this video today? If so, please remember to give it a thumbs up and share this with one friend. Thank you for watching as always. If you would like to support me, I do have a Patreon account, so feel free to join me on Patreon. Thank you again, I'll see you next time.